All right, let's have a look at these um, KBAT questions. I guess this one is the question from the 2022 past year question. It's paper one, question 10B. Yeah, actually, it's one of the students in my YouTube asked me to uh, make a video for this question. So I decided to, yeah, to make a video for, for him or her. All right, so the, this diagram six actually show an example of five character password formed by using the letter and digits on a computer screen. So you can see the pattern. Okay, so from this pattern here, actually it's quite tricky. Um, first thing is um, they can accept capital letter and small letter. This one is more like the real world password. Basically in the real world, we can have capital and small letter. And then they can also accept any digits uh, from zero to nine. Okay, so, and then another thing we need to consider is for the real life password, actually we are allowed to repeat, right? That's mean E I can use multiple time. And number I also can use multiple times if they can be repeat. But however, they ask us to find a number of different password. Okay, this, this one they give us a condition for first three character must be capital A, uh, digits A, and small letter A without repetition. So in the part one, they say about without repetition. But for the part two, if you read finish, they don't mention anything about the repetition. So the first letter must be non vowel capital letter and followed by at least two prime number placed adjacently. So that means the, the prime number must place side by side. Lah. This is the meaning of adjacently. Alright, so they ne never mention anything about repetition. So yep, so therefore I will just assume the repetition is allowed in the uh, second part. But we will do one by one first. Okay, so for the first part, you just Im uh, you just imagine they already fixed the first three digits. I mean, I mean three places here. This one must be capital A, and then must be digits A and small letter A. Okay, then we try to uh, insert here some number here. Okay, so right now we need to understand for capital letter, we actually we have 26 capital letter in the net. And then we have 26 of the small letter. For digits, we should have a 10 digits number. So it's, this one is basically is uh, from zero to nine, you can count. And then this one small letter is from small a to z. This one capital letter is basically from the capital A to the capital Z. Lah. So you have 26 of them. Okay, so right now, if they already says um this one must be capital A, that means it's only one way. I cannot randomly choose any of the small letter, capital letter, or digits to put in the first place. So this one, there must be digit A, so it's one way. This one must be small letter A, is one way. Okay, now the challenging part is this one. So how many choice we actually left here from the total here? So since um, one capital letter we'll be using, which is a capital A, isn't it? So we only, if you minus one from 26 here, we only left about 25. Small letter, we use one small letter A already, right? So we only left about 25 small letter. So this one will be capital letter. This one we have 25 small letter. And then for number here, we already used one digit already, right? eight. So we only left nine more digit, right? So we left nine more. This one is for number, nine more digit number. So, okay, so if, if we add together, we want to see how many choice we can insert for the fourth place here. So this one is uh, basically is 59. Okay, we have 59 options to insert into the fourth place here. But because without repetition, right, that means if no matter what um, numbers or letters I insert into here, then the next option here will always minus one, right? Because I already used one of it. So this one will left 58. Make sense? If let's say this one, you I, I insert a number here, then the number minus one, right? So you add together 25, 25, 8, you get 58. Or maybe this one, I put a capital letter, then this one become 24, right? So 24, 25, 9, you also get 58. Same idea with small letter you put over here. So no matter what letter or number I put here, the total will always minus one. Ah, because the repetition is not allowed. Then I just multiply them. I should be able to get the answer for the part one, which is uh, just uh, 59 multiplied with 58. So you should get the answer like 3, 4, 2, 2. Okay, this one is uh, uh, considered acceptable. Not that hard. Okay, then we have a look on the next one for part two. Okay, part two over here, they say the first 
letter must be non-volver. Okay, we kind of need to settle what's in non-volver first. So you need to know what is volver. Volver basically is A E I O U. I O U. So non-volver, we actually call it as a consonant. So consonant basically is non-volver. So it's something like B, C, D, F, and so on, up to Z. So from here, I can see A U I O U we have five vowel, isn't it? So non vowel total is 26, right? non vowel we basically have 21. Just use 26 minus 5, lah. you can easily get the consonant is 21. Okay, but for the consonant in um, this case, um, we need to pay attention, do we need to separate them into capital and small letter or not? But here they say they want a capital letter. So yeah, then, then we just do the capital letter. So, okay, so right now I have five digits, I mean five places here. So the first one must be consonant here, and then I have 21, and then there must be the capital letter. So it's just 21C, okay? Then for the second place, they say must be followed by at least two prime number. So here you need to know what is prime number in the 10 digits there. So prime number start with two, right? So we have two, we have three, we have five, we have seven. So here we actually only have four prime number out of 10 digits here. So the rest will be non-prime number like zero, one, four, uh, six, eight, and nine. So they are non-prime number, we have six. So prime number, we have four. So let's say, so right now, let's say because they say at least two prime number, you know, it doesn't mean that only two prime number. So here I literally need to separate them into the few cases. Let's say this one, I would say is um, um, uh, the 21 consonant, capital letter, followed by two prime. So this one, the first one is just followed by two prime number. PN uh, stands for prime number, okay? This is a case number one. Then maybe I will do the case number two, is followed by three prime number and so on. Okay, but because the space here is very limited, so okay, let me just do one by one. Uh. Okay, so let's continue here. So let's say here must be a prime number followed by two prime number and prime number. So prime number, because uh, repetition is allowed, so therefore it's only uh, four options, either two, three, five, or seven. This one I can repeat any of two, three, five, and seven. It's four and four. Okay, now the challenging part is about the fourth place here. So for here, can I still put a prime number here? I'm not allowed, right? If I put a prime number at the fourth place here, I actually follow by three prime number already. So this one can be any letter, no matter it's capital or small letter, and any non-prime number number can be inserted here. Okay, so like, then we go back to like just now. So let's say we want to put a small letter. We have like, 26 of the capital letter, 26 of the small letter, and then non-prime number is 6, right? Of the non-prime number. Then we add them together. We should be able to get something like 58. Okay, now, how about the fifth place here? Can I still put a prime number at the fifth place? Yes, right, because as long as I'm not follow I mean, here they say only followed by two prime number. Ma. They doesn't, because here I already separate by one non prime number. That means at the last places here, I can insert anything, no matter it's prime number, non prime number, small letter, capital letter. It's literally everything. So everything is uh, 26 capital letter, 26 small letter, and 10 digits number. Because this one prime or non prime, it doesn't matter. As long as here I, I just follow by two prime. You get the idea? So this one add together should be um, 62. Okay, then this four I bring down, this four I bring down, this 21 I bring down, then I will multiply them. Okay, so I will just uh, use the calculator. I believe the number will be extremely big, uh, but it doesn't matter, we'll just <laughs> copy it down. One, two, zero, eight, two, five, six. Okay, so right now we already done the two prime number. Then what we do next is, we will continue the another two more cases. Okay, so then let's say second case we, we consider is like the followed by three prime number. Okay, 
Then the first one, same thing, must be the consonant and must be a capital letter. Then this one is actually 21, op uh, 21 option only, a capital letter, la, which is uh, for consonant because there must be non-vowel capital letter, right? Yeah, done. And then here must be followed by prime number, prime number, prime number. So here is actually quite easy. Your prime number can be repeat, right? So it's four, four, and four. And then last places here, can I just, can I still put the prime number here? No, right? Because I only follow by three prime number. So for this option, actually similar to this one, I just need to exclude the prime number then everything else should be able to put here. So which is 58, right? Just now we already add, so this one will be 58. So I will just multiply them. Okay, just ignore about this C, la. this C stands for the capital. Okay, then it's like 21 times 4 times 4 times 4 and times 58. Then this one will get 7, 7, 9, 5, 2. Okay, then the last cases here is we will need to consider followed by 4 prime number. So four prime number should be quite easy, right? Because we already get the pattern. So the first one is basically 21, non vowel capital. And then this one can be prime number, prime number, prime number, and prime number. So this one is, each of these is like four, 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 and four, isn't it? So it's four power four. Lah. Then you just type the calculator. 21 multiply four power four. Then I will get five, three, seven, six. So after that, what we want to do is we basically sum all of this number here. Then we should be able to get a so-called total result. Lah. So I will just plus them real quick. You can use your calculator to plus. And I hope I don't make any character mistake. Sometimes I tend to like make a character mistake. So I should get the answer like 1, 2, 9, 1, 5, 8, 4. Okay. This is how we solve this kind of uh, question. Because this question actually is quite tricky. Yeah, you must read carefully. And then over here, they actually, they doesn't like specify can accept uh, capital letter or small letter, but they give you the example. From this example, you should be able to see they purposely have two different E, right? One capital, one small letter. So that our student from this pattern, you need to understand actually they can accept any capital or small letter and then a lot of students will make a mistake like the uh, digit number they thought is like 1 to 9. No, digit number you should include the 0. Okay, so yep, this is how we do this kind of question. I hope this small video, uh, this short video actually can help you understand how to solve this kind of KBAT question. If you get benefit from this, I hope you can give me a like and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.